Doug Kobe, winner of the Toyota Modified Classic 150 at Oswego Speedway. Doug, talk about getting a win at Oswego. You know, I'd never seen the track before I walked in here at 10 o'clock this morning, so I didn't know what to expect. I've heard a lot about it, and uh, a lot of these upstate New York and northern facilities uh, just don't have a lot of grip, so I was a little nervous, but this place, whatever they did to the outside groove uh, a couple weeks ago to put some grip down, uh, I don't know if it didn't have grip before or what, but it was just awesome tonight. Our car uh, was really stout in practice, uh, never really fell off all that much, and uh, I knew we had a good car, and then it was just a matter of uh, getting to the front, leading some laps, and after the pit stop, I had to do a lot of racing on the outside, and that's a lot of fun. Anytime there's a, a racetrack that you can pull to the outside of somebody dead in the middle of the corner and beat them up off, that's a, a pretty neat feeling behind one of these cars, and uh, we just had a great car tonight. It's uh, one of those things, coming to a new track, I, I think you got to have a guy like Phil Moran turn wrenches to uh, come out of here with a car that can be that dominant. And, run its fastest lap with six laps to go. I mean, we, we were not hanging on. We were waiting for the race to end, and, uh, you know, I was worried about maybe fuel, so I saved a lot of fuel all night, and uh, what can I say? Just uh, a great, great effort from a championship quality team, and, uh, you know, this this track and Seacom being new to our schedule this year, it's really important, so we uh, had a good run tonight. We're really happy.